Jeff Overolser here at Coldwater. We get set for the first semifinal matchup. Two to nothing the score. And this one between Coldwater and Ottawa Glandorf. Now it's a three to nothing score. Although they've just taken the point away for being over the net. So it is two to one, Coldwater. Ottawa Glandorf to serve. Kemet coming right back. Coldwater with a three to one advantage. Now Coldwater got here by virtue of a two to nothing victory over St. Mary's. Ottawa Glandorf had a marathon against Versailles, winning two to one. That's how these teams got here to Coldwater in the first semifinal. That is an ace serve for Morgan Blassengame. Now it's four to one, Blassengame serves. Return by Ottawa Glendorf and a sharp spike and kill for Coldwater, Spencer Etzler. So now the score is five to one. Blassengame continuing to serve. This one is down the line and out. So now it's a five to two score. So we'll have a substitution coming in for Ottawa Glendorf is Gracie Lommers, 5'5 sophomore, back to serve on side out. Head coach of the Coldwater Cavaliers is Nikki Etzler in her ninth season. This one's a long serve out of bounds. So now it's a six to two matchup. Coldwater will serve side out. Back to serve will be Kara Kanapke. Serve is over, nice dig for uh, Ottawa Glendorf. Left-handed spike is back over the net by Fry. Return quickly by Coldwater and then Fry with a left-handed slam for the kill. Cameraman is Jacob O'Neill. I'm Jeff Overolser. Special thanks to Athletic Director Eric Goodwin and also TV 44's Mark Shine. So back to serve will be Sienna Fry, left-handed serve. Dig by Coldwater, quick tap over by Etzler, returned by Ottawa Glandor. Quick set. But then back over by OG. But that time not taken in by Lassengame. So point Ottawa Glandorf at six to four. OG, their head coach is Maddie Hohenstein. And Hohenstein is the head coach. Serve over the net. To the left side, the Long Hill is out by Ella White. So now it's a seven to four advantage for Coldwater. It will be side out. Kayla Bellman, a five seven junior, will check in for OG. Coldwater back to serve and they will serve it side out by Harlow Hine. So now the libero Kerry Crawfus will be back to serve for Otto Glandor. Tip is over by Coldwater. Quick set into the net, but saved by OG. Back over by White and in the corner. Ella White will get a kill for Otto Glandor. So for Maddie Howenstein, Howenstein, that's her first year as a head coach of OG, and they beat a very good team in Versailles in the very first opening matchup. Give you the scores here in a moment. Serve is over and returned, a nice shot that time just inside the line by Paige Ontrop. So for OG, they trail 8-6, Coldwater 
Back to serve on side out. Spencer Etzler will serve it. White with a hit back over by OG. And a quick tap over is successful by Maya Kanapke. So now it's a nine to six Coldwater lead. Another tough matchup. Some of these matchups already here for the 15th annual totally promotional Cavalier spike off. They have been close, and this one is a serve into the net by Spencer Etzler. A couple of substitutions for OG. Marley Buttlemeyer and Addie Bellman. So Bellman will be back to serve. Quick set, and the spike off the block is successful by Morgan Blassingame. So Coldwater leads now 10 to seven. Coldwater won their two over St. Mary's, 25-9, 25-8. To get here into this round, the semifinal round, this is the first semifinals. Quick set and getting the kill on the shot by Caitlin Kimmett, 5'11 senior. So for Otto, Ottawa Glandorf, Sienna Fry, Buttlemeyer, and Kimmett all start on the front line. The back line consisting of Madison McKee to start, Addie Bellman, and also Maya McLaughlin. That serve went long. Point Coldwater, 11 to 8. That one's going to be an ace serve. 12 to 8 the score. Coldwater. That was an ace serve by Maya Kanapke. Kanapke will continue to serve. This one is long out of bounds. So now 12 to 9. And Coldwater, they had uh, Broering, Lassen Game, and Kanapke to start on the front line. Then Hein, Etzler, and Antra. This one is another serve. This one out of bounds by OG. So now side out Coldwater's teams change points. 13-9 the score. We're in the first set in this first semifinal, another out of bounds. Now these T teams, and a lot of these teams that are here, Coldwater, St. Mary's, Ottawa Glendor for sales, St. Henry, Miami East, Fort Laramie, and New Knoxville, all, of course, playing their first matches of the 2024 volleyball season. Ottawa Glandorf with the serve. Quick set. Coming right back and off the block. That's a kill for Spencer Etzler. Talking about uh, Ottawa Glandorf. They lost to Versailles in the first set, 31-29, 125-16, and then Exciting 25-22 in their first matchup here today at Coldwater. On court A, court B, they have other matches going on. Quick set, White with the spike and kill. Ella White from the left front for Ottawa Glandor. 14 to 11, Coldwater. We have a substitution for the Cavaliers. Olivia Broering will check in. Serve is over. Quick set and Spencer Etzler again with a kill from the left front. 15 to 11, the score. Last year's winner was Coldwater. St. Henry was the runner-up. Serve, handled by Ottawa Glandorf, and free ball back over successfully by McLaughlin. There at the net again is Spencer Etzler. So Arlo Hine with the point, 16 to 11. We have a timeout. Here at uh, Coldwater Spike Off, back with more on WOSN.
Today's presenting sponsor is the People's Bank. We are invested in the communities we serve. Your bank, your way. Also, the scoreboard sponsor is Ultimate Outdoor, being resort-style living to your backyard every day with the luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. And that serve by Coldwater after the timeout by Hine is out of bounds. Point for Ottawa Glendorf at 16 to 12. Back to serve will be Libero, which is Carly Crawfus. Crawfus serve is over, nice dig, set in the middle, and kill again by Spencer Etzler. She's a 5'8 senior. And looking at these teams, and Coldwater with three returning seniors. White will free ball it over for OG. Tip back over and successful on the kill by Maya Kanapke. Now it's 18-12. Coldwater with the lead here in set number one. First semifinal matchup here at the Coldwater Spike Off. And free balling it over is McLaughlin. Quick set. Back over by Blossom Game. Back over by White. And a good kill by White. So it's between Ella White of Ottawa Glandorf. Spencer Etzler of Coldwater here in this first set on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. 18-13, Coldwater, but side out for OG. Quick set and blasting game again on her game with a kill. 19-13, Coldwater. And back to serve for Coldwater is Campbell Etzler. She is the libero. Serve is successful and free balled over by Bottlemeyer, but apparently outside the antenna on the hit. So that will be a 19-13 score. Campbell Etzler gets a point. Continuing to serve is Etzler. And free ball back over by McLaughlin. Quick set that time, and spike and kill is good by Olivia Broering. 21-13, Coldwater. Serve is over, and that's going to be an ace serve. Campbell Etzler doing well. And we have a timeout for Ottawa Glandorf. 22-13. Coldwater has opened up a nine-point lead. We're back with more of the first semifinal round of the Coldwater Spike Off here on WOSN. Presenting sponsor is St. Mary's Foundry. They're big on supporting the community and also Rough Rider teams of students and athletes consider joining our team. Go Riders. Jeff Overholzer back here at Coldwater. We're in set number one. Coldwater with a 22 to 13 advantage. And continuing to serve. Doing quite well as Campbell Etzler. Serve is successful over to the left front and back over for Ottawa Glendorf. Tip back over, nice play by Maya Kanapke on the kill for Coldwater. And now it's a 23 to 13 advantage 
for the Coldwater Cavaliers. Continuing to serve a Setzler. And nice dig that time by Coldwater, by Etzler, tipped in the air, and now free ball over by Blassengame. OG coming right back. Nice spike and kill on the play by Caitlin Kimmett. Good set that time. By the way, Coldwater, they were 24-2 last year. And for Ottawa Glendorf, they were 12 and 13. Again, they have the new coach. Maddie Howenstein. Howenstein. She's in her first year. So now Coldwater just one point away from capturing in this first set. Back to serve is Kanapke. Serves it over, set at the net. OG with the left-handed spike. They keep it alive. Good play again. Nice hit back over again. And it will be a point for Coldwater on the spike and kill by Etzler. That will end the first set, 25-14. Coldwater with the victory over Ottawa Glandor. And we still have set two to go. We'll come back with more of the Coldwater Spike Off here on WOSF. Today's presenting sponsor is the People's Bank. We're invested in the communities we serve. Your bank, your way. The People's Bank. Jeff Overholz are back here at the Coldwater Spot Call for 2024. We're in the first semifinal matchup. Coldwater with the first set victory, 25-14. It was Spencer Etzler with uh, several kills. I have her for six in that uh, first set. Campbell Etzler also had four points in serving. Also three kills for Maya Kanapke for Coldwater. Uh, for the Ottawa Glandorf Titans, Ella White with three kills, two for Caitlin Commit. And it was pretty much those that were involved in kills, but a lot of good play by both sides in getting the volleyball back over. And looking at uh, OG, top kill recipient was Sienna Fry. She had 298 last year as a sophomore, and of course a junior this year. And also, Addie Bellman, 688 assists for OG last year. And for Coldwater, they had a total of 307 kills from Plassen game last year. And she returns and the top uh, in that category for Coldwater. And then also in the uh, digs for Coldwater, Etzler, 361 from last year. And uh, Maya Kanapke, 862 assists from last year for Coldwater. So we're getting set for the second, second set. Coldwater gets the serve first. And back over is Plassen game after the serve by Kanapke. And we are underway here in set number two. The ultimate outdoor scoreboard, one nothing. Coldwater just underway here in the second set. The winner here will make it to the championship, which we'll have for you here on WOSN. That is a, a uh, ace. So Maya Kanapke and Coldwater up to nothing. Service over. Nice bump up and pass and tip back over for Ottawa Glandorf. Good save. Good volleyball here already in the spike off. 
Quick set, and this one is hit long out of bounds by Marley Buttlemeyer. So now it's three to nothing, Coldwater. Make that actually, it's not, it's two to one. It had a violation, so take that point away. And OG with the serve. That one's blocked at the net. Good block by Caitlin Kimmett. But they call it into the net. So now it's three to one at Coldwater. That one just over the net on the serve by Blassen Game. And set right back for Blassen Game, and that is in the net. So now it is three to two. Now for OG, they will be back to serve, and it will be Caitlin Kimmett. Kimmett will serve and into the net. You know, I was looking at uh, who they're playing Coldwater after today. We'll take on Shawnee back here at Coldwater. Coming up on Tuesday, that will be one of our games here on WOSN. So we'll be right back here at Coldwater. Serve is over, and that is a ace by Kara Kanapke. She'll continue to serve. Nice dig toward the back line for Ottawa Glandorf. And a tip over by the left hand is good by Sienna Fry. So that will be a kill. And for OG. They, of course, will have uh, some matchups as well. It's like almost some of these teams, or a lot of these teams already, it seemed like in mid-season form. Nice return by Coldwater, and then free ball back over by White for Ottawa Glandorf. That's a block by White. Tip back over on the play by Antrop, and then right back over on the dig, but too long by Blessing Game. It's now five to four. So Gracie Lommers continuing to serve. Serves over, five four, Coldwater. And that one's a block off the spike, kill by Etzler. On the ultimate outdoor scoreboard, it's six to four, Coldwater, and they will serve on side out. For Ottawa Glandorf, after they get done on Tuesday, they will have Lipsick that they will be playing at Lipsick as the ball rolls from the B court over to the A court. They have to replay. So back to serve again is Harlow Hine. Pass to White, has it blocked, and it cannot save it, but a good block that time. And kill for Kanapke. Seven to four, Coldwater. Here in the second set, already up one to nothing. Coldwater wins here, they will play again to for the championship, that grazes the top of the net, and that is an ace serve for Hine. So we have another timeout for OG. Right now, Coldwater leads in second set, eight to four, this first semifinal from the Coldwater Spike Off. You're watching it right here on WOSN. Presenting sponsors of the Spike Off is St. Mary's Foundry. They're big on supporting the community and Rough Rider teams of students and athletes. Instead of joining our team, go Riders. Jeff Overholzer back here at Coldwater for the Spike Off. Cameraman is Jacob O'Neill. And a special thanks to Eric Goodwin 
athletic director here at Coldwater. Service over and quick hit, and it is in. Nice cross court shot by Sienna Fry. Eight to five the score. Coldwater with a three point advantage, but a side out for the Ottawa Glandorf Titans. Owen Stein, first year coach for the Titans. Already you can see a great, great response. Santa Fry with an ace serve. On the ultimate outdoor scoreboard, it's now eight to six. Coldwater still with a two point advantage. A serve passing game with the uh, dig and Someone in the net for OG. So that will give the point to Coldwater. Now serving on side out will be Spencer Etzler. Etzler had a great first game with several kills. So had at least six, if not more. And she'll serve from the left backer's position. White coming right back, hits it long out of bounds from the left front. So now it's 10 to six, Coldwater. Sort of successful, White comes right back. Nice dig toward the back line, Coldwater with the return. Back over to White. White has her shot blocked by Kanapke. Tips it right back over, and nice save by Coldwater to keep it alive by Antrop. And then OG could not respond with that one. So now it's 11 to six. And we have a change. Coming in is Santa Fry and going out for OG is Kayla Bellman. Serve down the line by Etzler, Coldwater. Tipped over by White, good short tip. And a legal set for Coldwater, and that will give a point to OG. Where is it? Uh, it looked like the official pointed toward Coldwater, but apparently Coldwater will serve it. Spencer Etzler back to serve. Take toward the back line, left-handed spike is good. Nice thundering hit that time by Sienna Fry on the kill. 11 to seven, the score. Coming in now is Caitlin Commit For Ottawa Glendor. So Komet is in, and that was a hard spike by Plassingale. Morgan Blasen game. 5'11 senior. Puts that one down. It's now 12 to 7, Coldwater. And that serve is long and out of bounds by the Libero, which was Campbell Etzler. 12 to 8. Now, OG in this first matchup, the first set. Tight till Coldwater put it together toward the end of win 25 14. Now, too many hits for Coldwater. That gives a point for OG. So, Addie Bellman will continue to serve. 12 to 9 the score. Good dig, quick set. Blasting game back over on the tip for Coldwater and tip right back over on the free ball by Fry. Return by Coldwater, keeping it alive, but they can't. Good diving attempt, though, for OG on that play. Could not keep it alive, so Coldwater yet another point, 13-9. Kanapke gets credited for the point. Running and nice. Hit, short hit, right over the net by Komet. This is now 13 to 10, the score. 
Ottawa Glandorf back to serve. And McLaughlin service into the net. So now it's 14 to 10. You can score offensively, but the other team can score defensively. So back to serve is Morgan Blassengame. All Mac player last year. Left handed hit, good. Right at the left part of the net. That's Hannah Fry. 14 to 11. Coming in is Gracie Colley. She'll go to the front line for Ottawa Glandor. Serve is over by the Met. Returned a nice hit toward the back line for the kill by Spencer Etzler. Coldwater will bring in as a substitution. Kanapke. And also in is Buttlemeyer for Ottawa Glendor. Buttlemeyer with the dig. Pass and the spike is over by Colley. Right back over is Kanapke. And then nice hit that time from OG for the kill. And good, you know, when you play team volleyball like that, everybody meshes together. You get the dig, you get the set, and you get the kill. Normally, sometimes other things happen where you get the point. Right now it's 15-12 the score. So White will re-enter for Ottawa Glendor. And also Lommers back to serve for Ottawa Glendor. Nice and game with the dig. Quick set in the middle. And Etzler with the thundering kill. Sixteen twelve now. Coldwater with the advantage. And back to serve for the Cavaliers will be Hine. Does toward the back line. Nice save. Now they have to free ball it over, and they do. Good play. Pass to Etzler, and she will split the back end of the defense for the kill. 17-12, Coldwater. And again, if Coldwater wins this one, they'll be in their championship of the spike off, which we'll have for you here on WOSN. And we'll also, of course, look at OG. If they win this one, come back and win, they'll push it to a game three of this particular set. Nice hit that time by White. And hitting it back in the net was off of Ontrop of Coldwater. Zella so White with a kill at 17-13. And Ottawa Glandor back to serve on side out. Left-handed serve, successful. And tipped right back over. Quick set again, and this time a block by Etzler. And that was on the hit by Fry. She actually had the serve. But Etzler has been big for Coldwater. His first two sets coming in for OG will be Madison McKee, a 6'2 sophomore. So go to the front line. 18-13, Coldwater back to serve on side out of Spencer Etzler. On the ultimate outdoor scoreboard, 18-13, Coldwater, and that serve is straight into the net for an OG point. 18-14, back to serve will be the libero, Carly Kropis. Kropis with the serve for Ottawa Glendor. Hit back over, and now they're gonna say double hit on Coldwater, so that makes it 18-15. So give a point to Kropis on the serve, and we have a timeout. 
18-15, Coldwater in the second set, already leading 1-0. We're back with more of the Coldwater Spike Off for 2024 here on WOSN. Today's presenting sponsor is the People's Bank. We are invested in the communities we serve, your bank, your way. Jeff Overholzer back here at Coldwater for the Spike Off. And Coldwater won the first set 25-14, lead here in the second set 18-15. Just a reminder, you can stream the WOSN channel anytime, anywhere for only $8 per month. Download from Roku or Apple or sign up at apple at uh, app.wosn.tv. All right, continuing to serve as Crawfus for Ottawa Glendorf. Mickey Etzler at Coldwater has to be happy what she has seen so far. This, these are first matches of the 2024 season after lots of practices. Of course, the Cavaliers in orange and black. Ottawa Glendorf with the serve and coming right back on the spike is Antrop and free balling back over. OG tipping it toward the back line, but into the net is Kanapke, so that will be a point again for Ottawa Glandor. And for OG, their navy and gold are their colors. So Crawfus continuing to serve, 18-16. Coldwater's lead, chopped down to two. Hard spike that time by Blassen game but right down the line. It's a blasting game with Kill Coldwater with the side out. Campbell Etzler back to serve. Quick set, tip back over on the play by Komet, but then off of the block of White. And Coldwater with the spike and kill. 20 to 16, the score. White with a dig on the serve. Tipped over short, but uh, Coldwater will return it. Quick set in the middle. Komet hits it back over, then back over by Coldwater. Lots of volleying in this one. And then White's hit is blocked by Blassingame at the net. And a point for Coldwater. It's now 21-16 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. And set number two, Coldwater already up one to nothing in set. This one is hit back over the net and successful. Good play. That dig was sharp and right over the net, but caught Coldwater a little off guard on that one. Broaring could not come up with that one, so now it's 21-17. Coming in is Buttlemeyer for OG. Also coming in is McLaughlin. And back to serve will be Addie Bellman. 21-17, closer matchup here in set number two here at the Spike Off in Coldwater. Nice set, blasting game. Good dig that time to keep it alive for OG. Tips it back over by blasting game and that will be off of McLaughlin for the kill. Blasting game. A good play, 22-17, Coldwater. That one hits the top of the net, the libero with the save, and this one's hit out of bounds. Crawfitz had the save, and now Ottawa Glandorf is saying, is there a touch at the net? No, it's out of bounds. So now it's 23-17, the score. Maya Kanapke continuing to serve. 
Left-handed return by Fry. Now the reset by OG. Passing game back with the return for Coldwater. Keeping it alive and now free balling it over nicely is Broering. And then a hit at the net and apparently hit the net and went out of bounds on that hit. And now, or not, I, I'm not finding, I'm not following their, I think they said into the net now is what they're calling. So look like it was Coldwater's point. It is not, it is OG's point. 23-18. Now an ace serve on the play by Maya McLaughlin. So Maya McLaughlin with a nice point and an ace. 23-19 is the correct score for the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Quick set, blasting game has her shot blocked nicely at the net. Blasting game again has it blocked. And tipped back over, keeping it alive and free balling it over nicely by Fry. Coming right back is blasting game. And she'll slam it down for the point. But good play by OG to keep it alive and keep it going. And some great hits in response. 24-19, set point for Coldwater. Blasting game with the set with the uh, serve, and that is an ace. So the score, 25-19, is the final. And the scoreboard sponsor has been Ultimate Outdoor, bringing resort-style living to your backyard every day with luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. We'll come back and wrap up this first semifinal matchup coming up on WOSN. Wrapping up this first semifinal matchup here on WOSN, but also one of the presenting sponsors is St. Mary's Foundry, a big supporting the community and Rough Rider teams of students and athletes Consider joining our team, go Riders. Coldwater over OG by a score of 25-14, 25-19. Morgan Blassen game had a great second game, had lots of kills. Spencer Etzler also with some kills. And for OG, they had Sienna Fry with some kills. But uh, also it was Maya Kanapke with, with a total of five points in the second game. So Coldwater will now play for the championship. They will await the winner of uh, the second matchup, which is least St. Henry and the winner of Fort Laramie and New Knoxville. And, of course, we will have the uh, second semifinal game coming up here on WOSN and then also the finals as well. Thanks for sponsors. We'll come back with... Uh, the uh, second semifinal matchup here on WOSN. Coldwater Spike Off. Today's presenting sponsor is the People's Bank. We are invested in the communities we serve, your bank, your way. And the scoreboard sponsor is Ultimate Outdoor bringing resort-style living to your backyard every day with the luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. <laughs> Taking a look at uh, St. Henry, they had a victory against Miami East to get into this semifinal matchup. Fort Laramie also over New Knoxville. So with Coldwater over Ottawa Glandorf, Coldwater is playing for another championship. They are the defending champions. Now St. Henry or Fort Laramie will join Coldwater for that championship. Some of the players to watch for St. Henry. In the kill department, Ellie Fullenkamp returning as a junior from last year, a senior this year, 206 kills. Also Carly Busher at 163. For assists, Morgan Bomber with 71 from last year, returning for St. Henry. Total blocks, 56 for Carly Busher, 53 for Ellie Fullenkamp off of last year's squad. And Raya Busher 
a junior last year, senior this year with 51 assists. For the very talented Fort Loramie Redskins in kills, they bring back Avery Brandewey at 209 last year, Victoria Mesher at 175. Also for Fort Loramie in assists from last year, they bring back Victoria Mesher at 52. Total blocks, Victoria Mesher at 64. Diggs, they have a bunch. Avery Brandewey at 243 from last year. Jenna Barhorst, 164. And Katie Luthman at 125. So a lot of experience coming back as we get set for volleyball, Fort Loramie, and St. Henry. St. Henry Redskins head coach is Tricia Rosenbeck in her ninth year. And for Fort Loramie Redskins, John Rogers in his 17th season. Let's take a look at the starting lineups that we have for this matchup. The Fort Loramie Redskins, they will start on the front line. Avery Brandaway, number six, also number seven, Jetta Barhorst, and number 21, Victoria Mesher. And you heard Mesher's name several times from last year's team. And uh, the back part of the order, Julian Geyer, also number 14, will be in the, the matchup as well, and also Number 11, Deanna Rodifer. So again, those are the Fort Lormy, the front and back line. For the St. Henry Redskins, they have on the front line, Ellie Fullenkamp, number five, number six, Ava Holman, number three will be Morgan Balmer. Back line will consist of Brianna Mangin, also Miley Kramer, and also number 10, Lauren Tiemann. So we're getting set for volleyball here at Coldwater, and we will have the matchup between St. Henry Redskins and the Fort Lormy Redskins coming up next on WOSN. Getting set for the second semifinal matchup and the right to play Coldwater for the Spikeoff Championship here for 2024. Fort Lormy. Redskins and the St. Henry Redskins. St. Henry will be to the right of the net and left of the net will be Fort Lormy. Court cutters can access WOSN for free with an antenna on 44.2 or app at $8 per month. Sign up at app.wosntv. Jeff Overholzer with you for this coverage from the spike off. Cameraman is Jacob O'Neill. Again, special thanks to the athletic director here at Coldwater, Eric Goodwin, and also sending me stats for this matchup, Mark Shine. We'll start with Fort Laramie first. Back to serve will be Deanna Rodifer, a senior. She'll start from the left backer's position. Serve is over. Dig, quick tip there at the net. And a double hit on Fort Lormy gives the first point to St. Henry. Back to serve will be Morgan Balmer. Also coming in for St. Henry will be Molly Wendell, number four. Serve over the net, quick set, and the hit is long out of bounds by Brandewey of Fort Loramie. Two to nothing, St. Henry. Winner here will get cold water. Serve is over and an ace. So Bomber comes right back with Back-to-back -back points, three to nothing, St. Henry. They have two courts here. This is court A, and then they have court B. 
which they're playing the consolations. Serve is over, Libero Luthman with the save and a hit back over by Mesher. Quick set and the spike and kill is good by Molly Wendell. Four to nothing, St. Henry here in this first set. Looking at uh, Fort Loramie, the next matchup will be on Tuesday at Minster and Thursday at Houston. St. Henry, they have at Franklin Monroe on Tuesday, and then the next week after that at Ottawa Glandorf. Well, a block attempt that time for St. Henry by Holman was not successful. Good spike and kill for Fort Loramie. Back to serve is Mesher. Mesher serve is over the net, quick set. And the spike and kill is there by Ellie Fullenkamp. Five to one. St. Henry with the lead in the Battle of the Redskins. Left-handed serve is over by the libero and quick over. Libero resets, that is Busher. And nice play again by Wendell. St. Henry leads now six to one. Back to serve still is Busher. Busher with a softer serve this time. Tipped over by Barhorst. And right back over by Wendell. Pass to the left side, nice hit and kill by Brandewee. It's now six to two point, Fort Lormy. Coming in is Jenna Hoying. And going out is Allie McCumber. Back to service, Barhorst. Good dig, quick set. Running one hand is there by Camp on the kill. Seven to two, St. Henry. Now coming in will be Addy Holman and also Carly Busher for St. Henry. Back to serve will be Addy Holman. Serve is over, successful. And tapping it back over is Brandaway. Busher with the set, tap over by Balmer. Reset, back over is Brandaway, partially blocked at the net. And the ball is going to be blocked out of bounds by Jenna Hoying of Fort Loramie. That will give the point to St. Henry, and that makes it an eight to two score. We have a timeout on the court with the score. St. Henry eight, Fort Loramie two. Back with more, the Coldwater spike off. The second semifinal matchup coming up on WOSN. 2024 Coldwater Spike Off. And today's presenting sponsor is St. Mary's Foundry. They're big on supporting the community and Rough Rider teams of students and athletes. Consider joining our team, Go Riders. And right now it's an eight to two St. Henry advantage over Fort Loramie. And one of the things that if, and I say if, you still have to play the matchup, if St. Henry wins, they would play again against Coldwater like they did last year for the championship. However, Fort Lormy is wanting to get there to play, and that one's a hard spike and kill on that shot with authority by Julian Geyer. Now it's 8-3, back to service, Brandewee. Brandewee just over the net. A dig and quick hit over is too long by Kramer. That'll be a point for Fort Lormie. Eight to four the score, St. Henry with the lead here in set number one. After the short cleanup, Brandewee of Fort Lormie Back to serve. 
And that's going to be an ace. That went off of Morgan Bomber. So Brandewee, back-to-back points, 8-5 to five the score. The serve long out of bounds, 9-5 to five, St. Henry. Coming in will be Brianna Mangin, a senior. She'll be back to serve for St. Henry. Line drive Sir Brandewee with the dig, quick set. The spike and kill by Geyer. Nine to six. Fort Lormie trails by three and they have the service. Back to serve is Luthman. From one libero to the other. And then now a quick spike and kill by Busher. That went off of Luthman of Fort Lormie. So now St. Henry will bring in to serve Olivia Gast. 10-6, St. Henry with the lead. On the ultimate outdoor scoreboard, quick set and kill by Victoria Mesher. That one was with authority for Fort Loramie. Ten seven, Fort Lormy now with the serve on side out. We Jenna Hoy, serve is long and out of bounds. So now St. Henry will bring in Ellie Fullenkamp and Lauren Teeman, and Teeman is back to serve from the right backer's position. Eleven to seven, the score. On the ultimate outdoor scoreboard, St. Henry with the lead in the battle of the Redskins, and that will be an ace just inside the back line. So Teeman with an ace. 12 to 7 our scores, St. Henry. I gotta watch how I say Redskins in this one. Both teams are Redskins, and that one's into the net by St. Henry. So Fort Laramie will serve side out. Serve is over for Fort Laramie and right back into the hand of Mesher. See Deanna Rodifer with the service point. Rodifer continues to serve. It's 12 to nine. St. Henry with the lead and that one cannot be handled. And that will be another service point for Rodifer. Twelve to ten. St. Henry with the lead, but back to back points for Fort Lormie. Quick set. Brandaway. Nice dig though by Busher of St. Henry, but a call into the net by Ava Holman of St. Henry. So that gives Brandaway, not Brandaway, but uh, Rodifer another service point, three in a row. Service over, 12 to 11. St. Henry now down up uh, by one, and Fort Lormy down by only one. This one is blocked at the net, but on the St. Henry side, and that is Victoria Mesher with the kill. So now it's 12-12, four in a row for Rodifer. One's 12 to eight, and Rodifer and St. Henry, and that's gonna be an ace. Rodifer with an ace, five in a row in serving, and six in a row in points. 13-12 now, Fort Lormie has taken the lead here in the first set. You're watching the Coldwater Spike Off in 2024, right here on WOSN. Today's presenting sponsor is the People's Bank. We are invested in the communities we serve 
your bank, your way. And the scoreboard sponsor is Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Welcome back. I'm Jeff Overholzer back here at the Coldwater Spike Off 15th Annual Event. And the most team that has won the Spike Off is the host Coldwater team with five championships out of the 15 years. WOSN has been a part of the Spike Off for several years. Rodifer's serve is too long, and we're tied at 13. St. Henry will bring in Wendell to the front line. And back to serve is Bomber. Quick set back over by Mesher. Bomber has it blocked by Mesher at the center of the court. Tipping it right back over, good play, and then Mesher saves it again as Molly Wendell hit it over. And now there's a double hit on Fort Laramie. So that will give the point to St. Henry. Skins now up 14-13. Over Fort Laramie, back-to-back -back points. That serve is long out of bounds. We're tied at 14. Got some players to watch for, for Fort Laramie, and she's back to service, Victoria Mesher, a senior. Of course, as we mentioned, nine seniors on this Fort Laramie squad. Total of five for St. Henry. Some question at the scores table. We're ready to go. Mesher will serve it long out of bounds. And we're not only tied, we're now 15-14 St. Henry. Back to serve will be the libero, Raya Busher for St. Henry. Left-handed serve. Big by Rodifer. Pass over to Brandaway. And it is good. Nice kill by Brandaway. Avery Brandaway with her third kill here in the set and match. This is the second semifinal. Matchup, we still have the championship to go. This, the winner of this one will play Coldwater. Good set and kill that time down the line. Successful by Fullenkamp. Ellie Fullenkamp. Coming in to serve for St. Henry will be Addie Holman. 16-15, St. Henry regains the lead. We're still in the first set between these two teams that are named Redskins. Back set, Brandaway has it blocked, save. And then Brandaway tips it back over, out of bounds. Both players kind of came together, Geyer and Brandaway. It was, tip, it was hit long out of bounds past the inline. 17-15 now, St. Henry by two. Service over the net, quick set. Brandaway with the spike, hit back over and tap back over by Brandaway and that's in. Good play by Brandaway. Now it's 17-16. St. Henry with side out, Fort Laramie. They will serve. Always, of course, the, per the person that does a great play is back to serve it up, and that's Brandaway. Good serve, quick set. That's hit long out of bounds by Carly Busher. We're tied at 17. We're tied at 12. Fort Laramie took the lead, 13-12. St. Henry came back to take the lead. Now we're tied again, 17 all. Back set. This one is in the corner. Good shot by Molly Wendell. 18-17, St. Henry. First semifinal matchup. Coldwater defeated Ottawa Glendorf. Two sets to none. And the winner here will play Coldwater for the Spike Off Championship, which we'll have for you here on WOSN. And carrying the volleyball is Jenna Barhorst to try to set it after the successful 
serve. So now it's 19-17, St. Henry. Mangin will still serve. Quick set. Back over, Busher with the set. Back over by Bomber. Quick set this time, and splitting the backside is Rodifer for the kill. So many weapons on both these teams. 19-18. St. Henry. Back to service, Katie Luthman, the libero. Pass. And hitting it into the net is Bomber. So that will give the point to Fort Laramie. We're tied at 19. Serve is over. Quick set. Tip back over by Busher. Quick hit back by Mesher. And she has a kill. St. Saint, 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 uh, Henry now trails by one. 20 to 19, Fort Laramie with the lead. Service success, back over. And that one is a kill by Bomber. So back to serve will be Miley Kramer, St. Henry, just a freshman. We're tied at 20. You can stream the WOSN channel anytime, anywhere for only $8 per month. Download from Roku or Apple TV or sign up at app.wosn.tv. 2024 Coldwater Spike Off. This is the second semifinal matchup. And the winner plays Coldwater for the Spike Off Championship. Mesher hits it over for Fort Laramie. And then actually, as it goes back toward the net, tips it back over. So Mesher will get the kill. 21-20, Fort Laramie. Allie McCumber back to serve for Fort Laramie. Set, and they hit back over quickly, and Mesher comes right back and finds the corner again. She's heating up. Victoria Mesher, a total of five kills in his first set, and McCumber gets the service point. 22-20, Fort Laramie. Quick set, and the spike and kill is successful by Balmer. Now 22-21, can't get any closer than this other than a tie. And now St. Henry will serve on side out. It will be Lauren Tiemann. Serve over, quick set for Mesher. Saved by St. Henry, and the jump at the tip, or the tip at the net, they're gonna call St. Henry into the net. That's Ellie Fullenkamp. So now it's 23-21, Fort Laramie. Back to serve will be Deanna Rodifer. Rodifer back to serve. Tip over, short, saved by Fort Lormy. Good play by Mesher to keep it alive. Quick set and a slam and kill by Morgan Bomber. Morgan Bomber is only 5'8", but her trajectory, the height that she gets on the spike and kills are enormous. 23-22. Fort Laramie by one, St. Henry back to serve, on side out. Serve is over by Bomber. And then they can't handle it toward the back line. That's between uh, Brandeweep. And also back there, McCumber. 23 all. 
Palmer's serve is over. Tip over by Brandaway. This one's a big point for either team, and this one's hit straight into the net by Bomber. Now set point for Fort Army. They're up 24-23. Back to serve is the senior, Victoria Mesher. Serve is over. Quick set. Blocked at the net. Set again to the near side. Spike is over by Wendell. Set for Brandaway, and Brandaway will put it away. Brandaway with the kill and a 25 23 first set victory for Fort Lormie. We'll come back with the second set of this second semifinal matchup from here at Coldwater. We're back after this on WOSN. Today's presenting sponsor is St. Henry's Foundry. Big on supporting the community and Rough Rider teams, students and athletes. Consider joining our team. Go Riders. Well, I can safely say Redskin team won the first set, but it was Fort Lormie, Fort Lormie Redskins with a 25-23 victory over St. Henry. And it was a big first set by Victoria Mesher. She finished with a total of five kills, four service points for, and make that five service points for Deanna Rodifer, including an ace. Also, Avery Brandaway finished with a total of five kills and also two service points, including a service ace. So it was big for those two, Brandaway and Mesher. For St. Henry, it was Morgan Bomber had a nice first set, three kills, four service points. Molly Wendell also had three kills. Ellie Fullenkamp had three kills in that matchup. So St. Henry looking to rebound here in set number two in the second semifinal matchup. Again, the winner will get cold water for the 2024 Spike Off Championship. So we're getting set for set number two. And just a reminder, cord cutters can access WOSN for free with an antenna on 44.2 or our app at $8 per month. Sign up at app.wosntv. So here we go with the second set. If Fort Loramie wins, they'll play Coldwater for the championship. If St. Henry wins, It'll go to a set three, third and deciding set. St. Henry will serve first. It's Teeman. Quick set this time. Nice save. Diving for it by Mangin. Back over by St. Henry. And hitting it long out of bounds is Mesher. one nothing St. Henry. Teeman continues to serve for St. Henry. We're in just early. And this one is hit long out of bounds. So just early, 1-1 one, one tie now from the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Back to serve is Deanna Rodifert. Does, quick set at the net, blocked. And stepped on the play was Ellie Fullenkamp by Mesher. So now it's two to one, Fort Loramie. That one hits the top of the net, throws off the defender, and drops for an ace. That, yes, is legal. That can happen. So Rod of her. Gives Fort Lormie now a three to one advantage. Serve is over. Bomber with a dig, quick set. And this time the spike and kill is by Fullenkamp. More of a cross court shot. So now it's three to two. 
Coming in for St. Henry is Molly Wendell. Back to serve will be Morgan Balmer. And hits it into the net. It's now four to two, Fort Lormie. Back to serve will be the senior, Victoria Mesher. I mean, you look at both these teams combined together, they have a total of 14 seniors. Nine for Fort Laramie and four or five for St. Henry. Shot is blocked by Brandewee on the shot by Poland Camp. So Brandewee gets the kill. It's now five to two, Fort Laramie. Early in the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Mesher continues to serve. Busher with the dig and tap over short by Wendell. Set by Brandewee, taps it over short. Busher with the pass and off the block is Ava Holman with a kill for St. Henry. Five to three. Fort Lormy with the lead. Back to serve will be Uriah Busher, the libero for St. Henry. Busher serve. Take by Brandaway. Pass back to Brandaway. And the shot is in. Good set that time for Brandaway by Barhorst. Now back to serve is Jetta Barhorst. Six to three for Lormy. Serve down the line and that's an ace. Molly Wendell could not handle it. So Barhorst with an ace. Down the line again, that'll be a second ace. So back-to-back -back aces for Jenna Barhorst. And they're picking on Molly Wendell. Timeout, St. Henry. Fort Lormy with an eight to three lead here in the second set. Fort Lormy already up one set to none. We're back with more of the second semifinal of the Coldwater Spike Off for 2024 here on WOSN. Today's presenting sponsor is the People's Bank. We are invested in the communities we serve, your bank, your way. And the scoreboard sponsor is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Jeff Overholzer with you with the coverage here on WOSN TV 44. And cameraman is Jacob O'Neill. Continuing to serve is Jenna Barhorst, and that's a third consecutive ace. Three in a row, a trifecta for Jenna Barhorst. Nine to three. Fort Laramie increasing their lead. Again, Barhorst with the serve. This was hit back over short by Fulton Camp and returned by Fort Laramie. Quick set. Tip over and a successful one by Molly Wendell. She's probably going, okay, I got picked on four times in a row. I'm going to change that. So Molly Wendell gets the kill. Side out, St. Henry, they break set. They trail nine to four. Back to serve will be Addie Holman. Back set, quick hit that time by Geyer. But it cannot be handled on the play by Addie Holman. So now it's 10 to four, Fort Laramie. So Geyer will get credited with the kill on that one. Brandewee with the serve for Fort Laramie. Blocked at the net. Tip back over and successful by Geyer. So Brandewee. Will get a service points now 11 to 4, Fort Lormy. And right now, I would say the senior experience is coming right to the forefront for Fort Lormy. 
Hitting it right down the line. Right now, Fort Laramie is hitting it where St. Henry is not. Rodifer that time with the kill. Back to serve is Brandewee. Serve over the net. And hit back over by Bomber. Luthman will set up. Tip back over by Rodifer. Right back is Wendell. And then blocked at the net on the Rodifer kill attempt. And now it's 12 to five, side out St. Henry. Back to serve for the Skins will be Brianna Mangin. Serve down the line, Brandaway with a dig. Quick set and the kill by Geyer. It's now 13 to five, Fort Loramie. Geyer checks out, Mesher is back in. The front line for Fort Loramie. Katie Luthman back to serve. Line drive, dig, spike attempt is there. Good play by Bomber. She'll get the kill, but a good set that time by Brianna Mangin. Now in to serve will be Olivia Gast. Finally, Creamer checked out for St. Henry. 13 to six. So Olivia Gast will serve. Brandaway with a dig. Pass back to Mesher who tips it over. This one is hit long out of bounds by Ellie Fullenkamp. 14-6. Coming back in is Kramer. And then she'll come right back out. The libero, Raya Busher, is in. 14-6, Fort Loramie with the big lead. Allie McCumber back to serve. Pass, and this one hits the top of the net and rolls on to the Fort Loramie side on the spike and kill by Morgan Balmer. So now it's 14 to seven. Coming in for St. Henry to serve will be a Lauren Tiemann, a senior. One of the five seniors on the St. Henry squad. Take toward the back line, the pass and the spike and kill is by Rodifer. 15 to seven the score. Fort Loramie up by eight. Now they serve side out. And Rodifer is back to serve. Tipping it over is Bomber. Brandaway with the kill. Now it's 16 to seven, Fort Loramie. Again, this winner will get cold water for the championship for the spike off. Nice hit that time by Fullenkamp and hits the backboard. That is considered in. So nice play by Fullenkamp on the kill. 16-8. Back to serve will be Morgan Balmer. Serve is over, McCumber with the dig. Pass over to Brandaway. It's blocked at the net by Fulvenkamp. Right back with the spike. Saving it is Brandaway or not. No, they called it out of bounds. So it will be a point for St. Henry. That will be Bomber with the point. 16 to nine, the score. Fort Loramie with the lead. Again, up next on court B is Miami East versus Knoxville. So 
They're cleaning up the floor. So as mentioned, St. Henry finished 24 and four last year. Fort Laramie 25 and three last year. By the way, Fort Laramie lost to St. Henry in the spike off last year. So maybe that's an additive incentive for Fort Laramie to get into the championship. By the way, if you want to go history, last time Fort Laramie won the spike off 2010 when they beat St. Henry. And before that, Fort Laramie was a runner up in 2009. Now there's some question about what is considered out since there are two courts back to back or side by side. Now it's 16 to eight they have on the scoreboard as the official is talking to St. Henry's coach, Tricia Rosenbeck. I don't think she's none too happy about what she heard. I think maybe they've taken the point away. So now Morgan Bomber will serve. It's now 16 to eight. Serve over the net, tipped over, long by Janet Barhorst, quick set. The spike and kill is by Follenkamp. So there is the official point, 16 to nine, the score. So Fort Laramie, the last time they won it, 2010. St. Henry, the last time they won it was 2019, when they beat Ottawa Glendorf. Serve successfully over, a nice return by Brandaway on the spike and kill. 17 to nine, the score. That's a great matchup between two schools with a lot more seniors than others. Some of these other schools have graduated their senior leadership. They're having some seniors come back, but not as many as these two. Serve is over by Mesher. Coming right back on the spike is Wendell. It cannot be handled, so good kill by Molly Wendell. 17-10 the score. Back to serve will be Araya Busher, the libero for St. Henry. Serve is over. Take by Rodifer. Brandewee has the shot blocked at the net by Miley Kramer, the freshman, but it went off of her out of bounds. So now it's 18 to 10. Back to serve down the line is Barhorst. Tip inside, set, coming right back and off the block of Fullenkamp is Anna Ruenkamp for the kill. So Janet Barhorst and Fort Laramie with another point. They lead 19 to 10, a St. Henry timeout. Welcome back with more of the spike off for 2024. Coming up on WOSN. Today's presenting sponsor is St. Mary's Foundry. They're big on supporting the community and the Rough Rider teams of students and athletes. Consider joining our team, Go Riders, St. Mary's Foundry. Jeff Overholzer back here at Cold water for the 2024 spike off. We hope you enjoy it. These are our first matches of the 2024 season for the volleyball teams, and it's right here at the spike off. For the teams that are involved. So, well, serving is Barhorst, and that's an ace. Barhorst now with her fourth service ace. She's finding that hole in behind the defense. Another serve, this time handled by Molly Wendell, coming right back, hitting it long out of bounds 
is Miley Kramer, 21 to 10. Fort Laramie. It's been Brandewee and Barhorst. And another ace by Barhorst. Five service aces. Serve again, this one's hit back over the net. Hit over this time by Camp. Back over, sideways, out of bounds by Morgan Balmer. That's 23 to 10, Fort Lormy. Seven points for Barhorst, and five of those are aces in the second set. Hitting it over is Kramer, coming right back. Finding the inside shot was Julian Geyer. That's a kill. So now this is set point, 24-10, Fort Laramie. And one more point, and they will play Coldwater for the championship. Serve is over. And the hit back over, they're gonna call Four hits on St. Henry, and that will be it. Fort Loramie making it look rather easy in this second set, defeating St. Henry 25 to 10. It was Jenna Barhorse finished with a total of five service aces, nine points in that second set, and Fort Loramie will face the Coldwater Cavaliers for the 2024 spike off here at Coldwater. Last year's runner up St. Henry will be trying to get back into at least a third place situation here at Coldwater. So taking a look at the finals that we have for you in this matchup, the Fort Laramie Redskins win 25-23, close first set, won the second set 25 to 10. Again, we'll face Coldwater for the Spike Off Championship. You can look at Avery, Avery Brandaway, who had a great uh, matchup, had a total of 10 kills and five service points. Jenna Barhorse, all in the second set, had a total of nine service points. Five of those were aces. Also, Julian Geyer finished with a total of six kills for Fort Lormy. And uh, for St. Henry, it was Morgan Balmer who finished with a total of five points and five kills. Also five kills for Molly Wendell. Five also for Ellie Fullenkamp in the matchup. So it is set. It will be Fort Lormie and Coldwater for the 15th annual Coldwater Spike Off Championship for 2024. And of course, we'll have that for you coming up here on WOSN. We'd like to thank our sponsors. Also, we would like to thank Eric Goodwin, the athletic director here at Coldwater for allowing us to be here. Also to help me out with the stats and information, TV 44's Mark Shine and uh, Jacob O'Neill has been our cameraman. Thank all, again, all the sponsors. Thanks for watching the Spike Off 2024 from Coldwater here on WOSN. Today's presenting sponsor is the People's Bank. We are invested in the communities we serve. Your bank, your way. We'll get ready for the Spike Off Championship and give you an idea of how these teams got here. Coldwater defeated St. Mary's and Ottawa Glandorf. In the lower part of the bracket, Fort Laramie defeated New Knoxville and St. Henry to get into the championship. This is for first and second place. St. Henry has already secured third place in the spike off and for sales, fourth place. Some of the numbers for this championship matchup for the Coldwater Cavaliers under head coach Nikki Etzler in her ninth season, they are sporting again three seniors on the team and leading the way in kills 
And leading the way is Morgan Blazigame. She had 307 kills last year and returns this year for the Coldwater Cavaliers. Matter of fact, in her matchup that we had against uh, Ottawa Glandorf, Bison game was very, very good and had a total of eight kills and three service points for Coldwater's victory over OG, 25-14, 25-19. So that's one of the key players to look for, among others, for Coldwater. But for the Fort Laramie Redskins, they sport nine seniors, as we mentioned. And Fort Laramie defeated St. Henry 25-23, 25-10. And Jenna Barhorst with a, a great effort in set number two to propel Fort Laramie to the victory with five service aces. And she finished uh, with a total of not only the five service aces, but a total of nine points in set number two. Avery Brandaway also accumulated nine kills in that win. And also Victoria Mesher with a, a nice matchup as well, a total of six kills. But you're talking all senior leadership for Fort Laramie. So we're getting set for this championship matchup. Fort Laramie 2-0 under head coach John Rogers at his 17th season. And the Coldwater Cavaliers also 2-0, again under head coach Nikki Etzler in her ninth season. Special thanks to the athletic director Eric Goodwin and also for getting me stats for this championship and day broadcast of volleyball. Mark Shine of TV44. I'm Jeff Overholzer. Cameraman is Jacob O'Neill. We're getting set for this matchup between the Coldwater Cavaliers and the Fort Laramie Redskins. Coldwater Cavaliers are looking to repeat. They were last year's 2023 spike-off champions. St. Henry was runner-up. Versailles won it the year before in 2022. St. Henry was runner-up. And Coldwater also won it in 2021 with New Knoxville being the runner-up. In the 15th annual Cavaliers spike off, Coldwater, now we're talking 14 years, this is the 15th year, but Coldwater has won it five times, St. Henry three, Ottawa Glendorf two, Miami East two, Versailles and Fort Laramie once. And Fort Laramie won it in 2010. We're getting ready for this championship of the Cavaliers spike off. We'll have a look at the lineups and we'll start our coverage coming up on WOSN. Today's presenting sponsor is St. Mary's Foundry. They're big on supporting the community and Rough Rider teams of students and athletes. Consider joining our team, Go Riders. And also scoreboard sponsor is Ultimate Outdoor. Bring a resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. You'll see that uh, Coldwater is in their black and orange. And also Fort Laramie, the Redskins, will be in their red and black. Start with the starting lineups for Coldwater. On the front line will be Olivia Broering, also Morgan Blassengame, and Maya Kanapke. Back line will consist of Harlow Hine, a freshman, also Spencer Etzler, and also Paige Antrop. And also Campbell Etzler will be the libero for Coldwater. And for Fort Laramie, they will start on the front line. Avery Brandaway, also Jenna Barhorst, and Victoria Mesher. Also in the back line, Julian Geyer. And also on the back line will be Deanna Rodifer. So we're getting set for this matchup. Championship of the Cavaliers spike off.
And starting first will be the Coldwater Cavaliers. They will start with Maya Kanapke, who will serve first. Brandewee with a dig and a missed jump by Mesher. That gives Coldwater a one to nothing advantage. Serve is over, Brandewee with a dig, pass over. And the hit back over by Rudifer. Return is long out of bounds by Coldwater and makes it one to one in this championship matchup. Rudifer back to serve and that will be an ace. Also doing quite well in Coldwater's matchup earlier in the semifinals against Ottawa Glendorf. Well, Spencer Etzler, also again Fort Loramie with Jenna Barhorst with all those service aces in their matchup. That'll be another service ace. Serve receive went up into the rafters, but you can play it out of the rafters. And now it's three to one to Fort Loramie. Rodifer back to serve, does. Pass and the hit back over by Hine. Brandaway comes right back. Nice dig for Coldwater. Set in the middle. The spike and kill is by Morgan Blassen game. Three to two. Fort Lormy with the advantage. Back to serve will be Morgan Blassen game. Serve is over, quick set. Brandaway out, just out of the corner. We're tied at three. Last in game with the serve, Brandaway with a dig. Pass back to Brandaway, that's the kill. Avery Brandaway, the senior, with her first kill of this match. 4 3. Fort Loramie with the lead and back to serve will be Victoria Mesher. Service of the net. Pass to the near side and the return is there by Etzler. Out of Brandewee, she'll hit it over short right in front of Etzler for the kill. Brandewee with her second kill, Mesher will continue to serve. 5-3 now on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Fort Loramie with the lead. Pass over to Brandaway, double block. Going right back. Nice save by Coldwater, good volley. Brandaway gets the pass. Etzler with the dig, quick hit back over by Blasingame. Blasingame. Near side, Spike in, is blocked by Barhorst. So that will give another point to Mesher and Fort Lormy. 6-3, Redskins with the lead this championship matchup. Defending champions are Coldwater. Quick set and the spike and kill is good by Arlo Hine, a freshman. Six to four the score. Back to serve will be Kara Kanapke. The only year they did not have the Cavaliers spike off was the COVID year. And that was in 2020. Good tap and kill for Julian Geyer. Another point for Fort Loramie. It's now seven to four. Coming in is Campbell Etzler, the libero. Barhorst with the serve. Etzler off the block gets the point. Six 
So now it's seven to five. Back to serve will be Harlow Hine. Service over. Pass to Brandaway. Side shot is out. Point cold water, 7-6. Hine with a serve, pass up, and good play again. Julian Geyer gets the kill for Fort Laramie. Now eight to six. And that is going to be an ace. And that is Brandewey. Serve is successful. Pass up to Etzler, gets it over the net. Tap at the net, they can't get it over. A good hit that time by Jetta Hoying. It was tapped at the net and toward the back line. Coldwater cannot get it, it's now 10-6. Take by Blassen game. Tipped over and successful. Good play that time by Paige Hontrop of Coldwater. That'll be a kill. 10-7 and service back to Coldwater on side out. Spencer Etzler, a senior, will serve for Coldwater. That serve is long and out of bounds. 11-7 to the score. Now side out, Fort Laramie. Back to serve is the libero, Katie Luthman. Pass up to Blassen game and she puts it just inside the line. Good placing. 11 to eight the score. Back to serve will be Campbell Etzler for Coldwater, the libero. Pass toward the middle to Mesher, and she'll hit it into the net short. It's now 11 to nine. So Campbell Etzler is just a freshman. Harlow Hine, a freshman also for Coldwater. They're taking on a team that sports nine seniors, Fort Lormie. Pass over to Rotifer, blocked. Tip back over and Coldwater keeps it alive. Nice play. Rotifer comes right back again. Coldwater tips it over quickly. Rotifer back again. Dig by Etzler at the net. They get it back over the net again. Tipped over by Mesher, good volley set. Blocked by Mesher. And she'll get the kill. Good volleyball play between Fort Lormie and Coldwater on that one. Keep the volleyball going. It's 12 to nine, side out, Fort Lormie. Serve successful, hard spike by Blazing game, by Blassen game. And she blazes that one right into the chest of the defender. And now it's 12 to 10. Blazing game, her third kill so far in this first set. A turn by Fort Lormie, a good play. And coming right back with the kill is Olivia Broering. 12 to 11 the score. Back and forth in this championship. The 2024 Cavalier spike off. Jump served by Kanapke. Over to Rotifer, and Rotifer gets it over and now returned on the free ball by Broering. Rotifer again, this time into the net. So 
So Kanapke with her second service point. We're all tied at 12. Serve over. Mesher with a hard spike. Return on the dig. Nicely by Etzler. And then this time, Mesher come right back after the set by Barhorst to plant it. It's now 13-12, Fort Lormie. And getting Victoria Mesher involved. And of course, Coldwater with Spencer Etzler get her involved and many others. You got a great matchup. Quick set, blocked at the net by Brandaway, but back over by Coldwater. Quick set this time for Mesher. I stick toward the back line. Bison game will hit it out of bounds on the opposite side. It's now 14 to 12, Fort Lormie. It's back to serve is Deanna Rudifer. She has three service points, but we have a timeout. 14-12 Fort Lormie with the lead here in the first set of this championship matchup. We'll have more coming up on WOSN. Today's presenting sponsor is St. Mary's Foundry. They're big on supporting the community and Rough Rider teams of students and athletes. Consider joining our team. Go Riders. Welcome back to the 2024 Cavaliers Spike Off. Fort Lormie with a 14-12 advantage over the Defending champion Coldwater Cavaliers. Continuing to serve is Rotifer. Quick set. Tip over is good by Blasingame. Or did they say that she was in the net? No, they're not. I, I watch the official, and sometimes I should watch the official because it, he's explaining, but I get kind of catch a little bit late. So Coldwater with the. Uh, Serve and it's blasting game. It got it over, but returned by our opposite number, and that is Avery Brandewey. So now 15 13, Fort Lormie by two in this championship matchup. Maximum we can go is a total of three. We're in set number one right now. Quick set that time for Brandewey, and that is out of bounds. Now coming in for Fort Loramie will be Luthman replacing Mesher. Luthman is their libero. Also coming in for Coldwater is Paige Hontrop. And going out is Olivia Broering. 15-14, Fort Loramie by one. Set number one. Serve is over by Kanapke. Quick set, and that's off a of blessing game on the spike and kill by Geyer. So Julian Geyer with her third kill. Coming in now is Anna Ruinkamp for Fort Loramie. And also Maya Kanapke is in as well. Quick set and that's a slam and kill for Spencer Etzler. So now it's 16-15. This has played very, very tight in this championship. Back to serve is Harlow Hine does. Pass by Barhorst. Now free ball back over by Luthman. Quick set. Etzler has it blocked at the net. Free balling it over and into the corner is successful by Maya Kanapke. So Maya Kanapke gets a kill. And the freshman, Harlow Hine, continues to serve. We're tied at 16. That serve off of Luthman and cannot be taken by Rudifer. So we'll give Hine an ace. 17-16, Coldwater, they've taken the lead in this first set. We're watching the Cavaliers spike off for 2024 here on WOSN. The scoreboard sponsor is Ultimate Outdoor. 
Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Welcome back to the Cavaliers Spike Off Championship for 2024. Jeff Overholzer along with cameraman Jacob O'Neill. Coldwater is taking the lead 17 16. Pass to Brandaway. Gets it over the net. Coming right back is Etzler. Right at the net. Quick response by Antrop for the kill. Now it's 18 16. Coldwater with a two point lead. Continuing to serve is Harlow Hine, but she serves it into the net. So point goes to Fort Lormie. Back to serve for Fort Lormie is Avery Brandaway. Serve over, Hetzler will set up. Blessing game, right back with a hit and blocked. Spencer Etzler gets the block for Coldwater on the spike attempt by Julian Geyer. So now it's 1917. Coldwater by two in his first set of this championship. Back over by Fort Lormie. Nice play. Bison game with the long hit out of bounds. 19-18 the score. Now the libero, Katie Lukeman, is back to serve for Fort Army Redskins. Serve over successfully. Right back for Bison game and she'll put it down for the kill. It's Morgan Blasting game, a senior. Now puts Coldwater up 20 to 18 and back to serve will be the libero freshman Campbell Etzler. Serve over, dig by Luthman, the other libero for the Redskins. Coldwater keeps it alive and they get it back over. And that time Brandaway couldn't handle it for the Redskins. 21-18 our score. Coldwater with the lead, another timeout. We'll be back with more of the Cavaliers Spike Off 2024 Championship next on WOSN. Today's presenting sponsor is the People's Bank. We are invested in the communities we serve. Your bank, your way. Coldwater now up by three. First set of this championship matchup. Campbell Etzler with a serve. Set at the net. Tipped over by Ruinkamp. Right back over his place in game for Coldwater, 22-18. So now some perspiration on the court. They're going to clean up. 22-18, Coldwater by four here in set number one. Campbell Etzler with the, the serve, successful. Rodifer will hit it back over on the free ball. Quick set, Lesson Game has her shot hit, but coming right back and sideways on that hit, Maya Kanapke hits it out of bounds. So Fort Lormie breaks serve. Redskins down by three, cold water, a three point lead. Jet Hoying. Back to serve. Serves over the net. And I think too many hits are going to be called on Coldwater on that one. He's trying to keep it alive was Maya Kanapke. Jenna Hoying with the point. 22-20. Quick set. Blasting game. And she'll get the kill. Morgan Blasting game. With already her sixth kill in this first set. Allie McCumber checks in for Fort Loramie. And going out will be Jenna Hoying. Back to serve is Maya Kanapke. Does. 
Pass over to Rodifer, and she puts it down the line for the kill. Deanna Rodifer, their first kill. The point goes to Fort Laramie. It's 23-21. Back to serve is Deanna Rodifer. Line drive serve, dig by Etzler. Pass back to Blaise in game. And tipped right back over quickly by Jenna Barhorst. She gets a kill. 23-22. Cold water by one, and we have a timeout. We'll have more of the Cavaliers Spike Off Championship here in set one. Cavaliers by one. We're back with more after this on WOSN. You can stream on the WOSN channel anytime, anywhere for only $8 per month. Download from Roku or Apple TV or sign up at app.wosn.tv. Jeff Overholz are back here at Coldwater, 23-22. Cavaliers by one, but Fort Laramie continuing to serve. Quick set, Bison game. Put it right off of Rotifer toward the middle of the back row. It's now 24-22. Now this is set point. Back to serve is Morgan Blessing game. Serve is over. Dig by Luthman. Blocked at the net on the spike by Brandewee. Brandewee gets the ball back, tips it back over. Nice return by Blessing game. Coming right back is Etzler. And Spencer Etzler with a kill and the win for Coldwater. They win set number one, 25-22. Welcome back, take a look at some of the numbers of this first set of this championship of the Coldwater Spike Off. We're back in a moment on WOSN. Scoreboard sponsor is being brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with the luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. 25-22 Coldwater with a first set victory. Leaning the way for Coldwater in that first set. Morgan Blassen game with seven kills in that one. Also, Marlo Hine finished with a total of four points, including a service ace for Fort Loramie. They were led by Avery Brandewee with the three kills and three service points for Deanna Rodifer, including two service aces. Also Julian Geyer with three, K, uh, three kills for Fort Loramie in that first set. So we get set for number two. Coldwater, the defending Bike off champions. And they've won two of the last three. Trying to make it three of four, but Fort Lormy, last time they would win the spike off here at Coldwater was in 2010 when they beat St. Henry. But Fort Lormy, they were at third place last year, and St. Henry beat them, so they got a little bit of revenge with the feeding of St. Henry. in the semifinals. So now Fort Lormy will serve to begin the second set. Back to serve will be Deanna Rodifer. Rodifer serves. Pass to Blassen game and she picks up just where she left off in set number one with a kill. One nothing, Coldwater here in the second set. We go maximum of three sets. Right now, Coldwater up one to nothing. Serve over by Kanapke. Right back, blasting game with a block on that particular shot. And a kill, two to nothing, Coldwater. Kanapke finished with two points in that first set. Already has one here in set number two. Mesher, after Barhorse sets her up, Mesher will put it down for a Fort Loramie point. 
That's the third kill for Mesher so far in this contest. Mesher is back to serve. Serve over the net, handled by Etzler. Right back is Blassen game. Rodifer with a set, Brandaway tips it back over. Rodifer again with the dig. Right back over again, tipped over by Kanapke of Coldwater and free balled over by Brandaway. Quick set and Blassen game that time is blocked by her opposite number, Brandaway, for the kill. So Brandaway gets the block. And apparently they give it to Coldwater. So, so Brandaway was right there just with along with Blassing Game, but Blassing Game gets the kill. That one goes out of bounds. But they call it in just in, so it's three to two now. Very close, tight. Matchup here in set number two. And coming right back is Coldwater, and that's Etzler that dances on the top of the net and drops. Was in front of Geyer. So coming back to serve will be Akira Kanapke. Four to two, cold water, and she'll serve that one short right into the net, four three. Coming in for cold water will be Broering, and going out will be Kanapke. Then Broering comes right back out. That serve is into the net by Brandaway. So now it's five three for Lormy trailing cold water. Back to serve is Harlow Hine. She had four points in that first set. Really giving Coldwater the jolt. This one, good play by Etzler. Spencer Etzler with a kill. That's her fifth of this matchup. Went off of Luthman who tried to save it for Fort Laramie. Hine back to serve and that one's an ace. Harlow Hine now with six combined points in the first set and the second set. Mesher checks in for Fort Lormy and going out is Katie Luthman. Mesher comes right back with a spike. Saved. Can they free ball it over? They do. Kanapke. Barwurst to Rodifer and Rodifer off the block will get the kill. Second kill. Now it's seven to four, Coldwater by three. And back to serve will be Katie Luthman. And going out, Julian Geyer. And that serve is into the net. Uncharacteristic of both these teams to shoot it into the net like that because it gives a free point to the opposition. Eight to four now, Coldwater. Back to serve will be Spencer Etzler. Luthman with the dig. Brandaway to Rodifer. And Rodifer gets it over. Back is Coldwater. It's blasting game. Now Rodifer back over again. Quick set. Blasting game. Back over. Good volley this time. Mesher tips it over. Now right back over is Maya Kanapke for the kill. So now it's nine to four. Coldwater. Etzler with her first service point. Uh, Coldwater with the nine to four advantage. Here in set number two. Coldwater already up one nothing with a 25-22 hard fought win in set number one. Etzler with a serve, dig right back over the net, right back over again by Kanapke. Mesher hits it long. Saved by Cole, Coldwater by Blassengame. Good play. Right back is Mesher. She gets it blocked. Luthman to 
Brandaway, and she will hit it just outside. Good effort for Fort Loramie. It's now 10-4, Coldwater. Hetzler continuing to serve for the Cavaliers. Quick set, nice save, diving by Warhorst, and Rotifer back over again. Blocked at the net, and good play by Mesher. <clears throat> so Mesher gets that one. So Mesher now with the kill. She has a total of four. 10-5 the score. Coldwater with the advantage and back to serve. And back to serve will be Jetta Hoy. So getting here for this championship, Coldwater beat uh, St. Mary's and Ottawa Glandorf. And on the other side, Coldwater with uh, their two victories and then Fort Loramie Winning over New Knoxville and St. Henry. That's blasting game again with a kill. 11 to five and back to serve is Campbell Etzler, the libero. Loopman with it on the dig, nice hit back over and then Coldwater cannot come up with it. Blasting game and Kanapke. So now it's 11 to six. Back to serve will be Deanna Rudifer. So Rota for serve, grazes the top of the net, still in play. Blasting game coming right back, and now they're gonna call, gonna call a player in the net. And that is Brandaway for Fort Loramie. It's now 12-6. We have a timeout. Redskins. We're in set number two. Coldwater with a six-point lead. We're back with four after this on WOSN. Today's presenting sponsor is the People's Bank. We are invested in the communities we serve. Your bank, your way. Jeff Overholz are back here at Coldwater. 12 to six, Cavaliers, the host team in this championship leading Fort Loramie Redskins. Camberman is Jacob O'Neill. Back to serve for Coldwater is Maya Kanapke. So after a Redskin timeout, see how they respond. Brandaway has it blocked by her opposite number in Blassen game. Boy, Morgan Blassen game has brought the game. 13 to six. Now Coldwater with the advantage here in set two. Here's the scenario. If Coldwater wins this, they win the championship. If Fort Loramie wins, come back and win, then it will be forcing a game three or set three for the championship. So Maya Kanapke continuing to serve. This one out of bounds. So point Fort Loramie. It's now 13-7. Back to serve for Fort Loramie is Victoria Mesher. Serve over the net. Etzler with the dig. Blasting game. Has it blocked at the net by Geyer. That'll be a point as she hits it into the net. It's a point for Fort Loramie. Third service point for Mesher. Keeping it alive is Coldwater. Free bowling it over is Campbell Etzler. Coming right back is Rodifer on the spike for the Redskins. Tipping it back over is Broaring for Coldwater. Brandaway back over for Fort Loramie. Back over is Blassen game and she'll get the kill. That will go off of Ali McCumber.
So now it's 14 to eight. Coldwater with the advantage. Serve is over the net by Blassen Game. Brandewee comes right back with the spike. Dig by Blassen Game, tipped over by Hine. Coming right back is Brandewee. She tips it back over on the carom. Coming right back, Blassen Game from the backside and gets it off of Barhorst for another kill. 15 to eight, Coldwater here in set two. Coldwater won the first set, 25-22. Morgan Blassing game continuing to serve. And this time the return is there by Rodifer. Not Rodifer, I'm sorry, it's Geyer. And Geyer gets the kill. That is her fourth kill. Side out, Fort Lormy. Bar horse back to serve. 15-9 the score. Rodifer gets it to Geyer and she'll hit it out of bounds. 16-9 now. Coldwater with the advantage. Back to serve will be Kara Kanapke. Also Paige Antrop is in for Coldwater as well. That serve out of bounds. 16-10. Coming in will be the libero for Coldwater. That will be Campbell Etzler, a freshman. Back to serve will be Avery Brandaway. That one hits the top part of the net, falls on the Coldwater side. That is a service ace. So Avery Brandaway now with three service points, two of those are aces. Serve over the net, tipped over by Etzler, saved nicely. By Fort Lormie, by Rodifer. Placing game, right, coming right back. Here's Rodifer again into the corner and out. Or is it in? They're going to give it. They're going to give it to Fort Lormie, apparently on a touch. So now it's 16 to 12. Cold water by four. Brandaway with a serve. Blyson game with the dig back on the pass to Blyson game. Geyer and hitting it over is Ruin Camp. Back again is Etzler for Coldwater. Free balling it over is Brandaway and then tipping it out of bounds toward the back is Coldwater. So now it's 16 13. Coldwater by three, but they're Lead has been diced in half. Brandewee with the jump serve, and that is out of bounds. 17-13, Coldwater. Great matchup between Coldwater Cavaliers and the Fort Loramie Redskins. Back to serve is Arlo Hine. A dig by Brandewee. Pass over to Rodefer. Dig by Etzler, coming right back as the second Etzler. First one was Campbell Etzler, the freshman with a dig. And right back with the spike and kill of Spencer Etzler, a senior. Now it's 18-13. That serve long out of bounds, 18-14. Tell you what, this is where you gauge your players just on the on today because you got the whole season to go. The spike off gives a chance for teams to see what they have. That service out of bounds by Katie Luthman. It's now 1914 Coldwater and back to serve is Spencer Etzler. Serve is over. Luthman with the dig. Pass back to Brandaway, and that will go off of Spencer Etzler out of bounds. A good kill that time for Brandaway. So Brandaway now with a total of 
five kills. Serve over successfully for Fort Laramie. That was by Jetta Hoying. But boy, returned nicely for Coldwater. So now the score is 20 to 15. Now back to serve on side out for Coldwater is Campbell Etzler. Serve over. Pass, bar horse for Rodifer. Now quick set for Mesher. And they say touched at the net. So that will be a point for Fort Lormy. Mesher had the kill. But apparently they felt like it was touched at the net by Coldwater. 20 to 16 our score. Rodifer with the serve, and that's an eight, that's out of bounds. That was close to being an ace. Now it's 21-16 our score. Back to serve will be Maya Kanapke. And that was a quick, quick set. And no doubt, spike and kill by Mesher. So she has four kills in this second set, six for the matchup. And she's back to serve on side out, 21-17, Coldwater by four. Mesher serve over the net. And blasting game again. I got blasting game for 14 kills, seven in each. Blasting game back to serve. That's going to be an ace. Morgan blasting game has taken the game basically in stride. 23-17, Coldwater by six. Timeout, Fort Laramie. Back with more of the championship of the Cavaliers spike off next on WOSN. Today's presenting sponsor, St. Mary's Foundry. They're big on supporting the community and Rough Rider teams of students and athletes. Consider joining our team. Go Riders, St. Mary's Foundry. All right, Coldwater just needing two more points to secure another championship. Lasting game with the serve. Brandawee will free, will Pass it and a free ball back over. Classen game coming right back for the kill. Now it's 24 17, and a Blassen game can put this one away, and she will with an ace. That's off of Deanna Rodifer. So Coldwater will win the spike off. 25-22, 25-17. So for Coldwater, that means they are back-to-back -back champions of the Coldwater Spike Off. And will mean their sixth championship overall since the 15th annual Cavalier Spike Off has begun. So certainly it was one of those ball games that uh, the senior Morgan Blasing game would uh, take into this uh, championship. The blasting game finished with 16 kills and a total of five service points to lead uh, Coldwater to this championship. Of course, it was a total team effort. Uh, Harlow Hine, though, had uh, four service points from that uh, first set. And then in the second set, Hine also with a total of three service points, including a service ace. So that would propel the uh, Cavaliers to their back-to-back -back championship. And uh, Victoria Mesher finished with a total of six kills and three service points for the Fort Loramie Redskins. But it was Avery Brandewee also was there, a total of five service points and five kills. 
So again, it's Coldwater over Fort Laramie, 25-22, 25-17. We'll have more from here at Coldwater for the Spikehoff Championship, 15th annual event going to the host Coldwater Cavaliers. Back with more after this on WOSN. 2024 Spikehoff Champions, the Coldwater Cavaliers, they win by a score of 25-22, 25-17. And uh, Nikki Etzler, congratulations. What was the key for Coldwater for the victory? I think our first ball contact has been something that we've been working on all season. So whether it be serve receive or free ball pass or defense, our first ball contact has gotten better. I think in the beginning of that set, would you agree, Morgan? It was a little, um, they had us a little off center. And then I think the girls really zoned into that and the game got better for us. We felt like we had a little bit more control of the game. You know, you look at uh, Fort Laramie, they had nine seniors, you had three. That means your underclassmen really stepped up. Yeah. I think our underclassmen are playing great role positions for us right now, and they're learning so much about the game as they're playing, and we have three great senior leaders, and we have a setter who's experienced, so that makes a big difference on our side of the court. Well, congratulations, that's three championships in four years, but back to back for Coldwater. So what do you think the season is gonna feel for you now? Well, these girls have the mindset that they're not gonna settle for anything, so I'm sure when we get back in the gym on Monday, they will be ready to work and get better. Um, and there are things that we're working on daily so that by the end of the season, we're gonna be the best team that we can be, so yeah. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Nikki Etzler, head coach of Coldwater. We're gonna to talk to Morgan Blasingame. Congratulations, what was going through your head? It seemed like you took control in game number two. Yeah, whenever we're in games like that at the end there, especially, I want, I want to swing at every ball. I have that mindset to just put it away. Um, yeah. <laughs> But, I mean, you look at the way that the team came together, everybody yes. just put this for a win. Yep, our defense was there. Our serve receiver, first ball contact, like Coach was saying, that's so important for us. And I think we all have the mindset just to finish and never give up and let them do anything to us. You know, I think one more important thing is you're a senior and you wanted to go out with this spike off win as a senior. Yes, that's obviously very important. We won last year, yes, as my junior year, but senior year, it's my last year, so it was very special to win this last one going out. Well, you are a MAC representative last year and probably a good one for this year as well. Congratulations and uh, good luck the rest of the year. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, Morgan Blassen game. It was actually, if you want to call it, a star of the game, although it was a total team effort. The Coldwater Cavaliers, they win the 2024 spike off here at Coldwater defeating the Fort Loramie Redskins. I'd like to thank Eric Goodwin, the athletic director, for all of his kind hospitality here at Coldwater. Jacob O'Neill is our cameraman. I'm Jeff Overholzer from Coldwater. Thanks for watching the Spike Off Tournament Championship here on WOSN.